state that the obligation of every not-for-profit is to make a difference. I mean, if we're here spending donation money, then we really need to impact people. So that's what I've been working to do, is to, to make us more relevant. The opera has been led by women now for 20 years. I love that. And speaking of that, uh, the YWCA of Northwest Ohio is really dedicated to eliminating racism, but also empowering women. Oh, yeah. So can you explain a little bit about how you're doing that at the Toledo Opera? It's to make our places welcoming. I don't want anyone to ever feel they can't come into the Valentine. The opera is for everyone. We have been through our programming, selected operas that we think address issues. That's what relevant programming is about. So two years ago, three years ago now, we produced an opera called I Dream, which was about the last 36 hours in the life of the Reverend Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. And, you know, it was a powerful piece. When I heard about it, I decided we need to do this. I was a 12 year old child when that assassination occurred of Reverend King. And it never occurred to me then that I'd be in a position anywhere to make sure that our community was using an art form to recognize such an important historical and sad happening. And that was uh, meant a lot. Um, to me and to the company and to the community. I guess something else that most people don't realize is how uh, important our educational programming is too. Every year we reach um, 23,000 school children. Is that part of your um, Opera on Wheels? Program? Yes, we, it's Opera on Wheels. Opera on Wheels, um, it goes into um, the schools and it has for 25 years we've been taking that program and then we have a preschool program that only is in TPS Head Start programming. In fact we just finished a program with the Toledo Public Libraries where we taught uh, early education libraries how to use books and tell the stories using musical cues to teach the story. I hope that they'll be able to utilize that, the, the librarians, when they read to children, you know? How so, fun is that? Isn't that fun? <laughs> that it would bring fun. you to tears. If you'd see it, it'd bring you to tears. What does this award mean to you? Well, you know, I'm honored. I want to say that. I am very honored to receive this and be part of that many women who have received this in the arts. When I look at the list of women who've gotten it, I've been collaborating with many of them for years, actually. So I really feel any woman can make a difference. At one point, there were almost no women running not-for-profit, but now we have the Imagination Station, United Way Area Office on Aging. These are all organizations run by women. So I'm very honored to be just a, wo a woman who's in a leadership position. We have to work together as women to keep making sure that our message gets out, that um, the community matters, that we can make a difference.